I think we're just changing our viewing habits too. And I think honestly, people are looking for new stuff to watch. So even if it's this premium video demand experience where you're paying a certain amount of money, like the theater experience will always be there, but I think it's kind of an interesting time to really look at things and movies, especially like indie films, they have a better place here because I'm sure you realize this, they kind of get lost in the shuffle sometimes. Absolutely. Yeah. So um, I, I hope that people enjoy it in their homes. I think it's a really funny, sweet, special movie with an amazing cast. So I'm, I'm just grateful it got distribution, you know, cause I've, I've been yeah. in other films that, that don't. So, you, you know, you never know when you're doing an indie film. Yeah. It's really interesting with distribution, even with the twilight zone, which you got to do an episode of that, for example, like that's out there on CBS all access brand new season. That was a really fascinating episode that you were in. What was it like jumping into Jordan Peele's twilight zone? Well, I was so excited for, a lot of different reasons, one of which is that my good friend Alex Rubens, who wrote on Community for years, is one of the main writers, producers on the series. So it was a chance for me to get to work with Alex again. And, you know, I'd missed that since Community ended. Um, Jimmy Simpson, I think, is an incredible actor. He also stars in the episode. So that was exciting. Obviously, anytime Jordan Peele asks you to do something, you feel very honored and lucky. Um, so this is my second um, uh, guest appearance on one of his produced shows. Um, so I, you know, I was, I was so lucky to be asked and I thought it was a really interesting episode um, and a fascinating character for me to play. And uh, so the whole thing was just a dream. What was the other project you did with Jordan Peele? It was a series called Weird City that premiered on YouTube that he also produced. So um, I, that was the first thing I got to do with their company. And so uh, Twilight Zone was the second thing. So I feel very lucky. The other thing with the Twilight Zone and just Jordan Peele stuff is just like the simple eye contact that characters make with the camera. Like there's a spot at the end of the episode where, you know, your character goes through the whole thing and just by a simple look in the camera. What was it like just kind of playing with those concepts and especially finessing like these darker tones that we don't necessarily explore in other mediums. Yes, well, I mean, that is the true magic of Twilight Zone, you know, as an institution across the decades, is these twists and reveals. And when you build up an entire episode that can then hinge on just a simple look from a, from a character into the camera, and it gives you chills, um, that's really exciting. Um, it's a challenge as an actor to figure out like how you modulate that look so it has the most impact and it doesn't feel like it's too much or too little. So um, thankfully I was working with a lot of great writers and director on the episode um, who can kind of guide you there. But yeah, it was, it was fun. You know, I, I really like getting to do different genres as an actor. Um, so this felt like such a fun, unique uh, episode to do. Speaking of community, you mentioned that before. How about the fact that Joel McHale was on another episode this season too? I mean, that's a pretty nice coincidence there. I know it was it was uh, it was awesome. It, unfortunately, we weren't in the same episode, but I think he shot right before I did. So um, I saw his like uh, hair and makeup continuity photos <laughs> in the trailer, and it felt like I was back on set. Yeah, um, I you know I I got to do a little Zoom reunion with the cast uh, a few months ago. So I'm hoping that we get to do, you know, an in-person reunion um, at some point. But yeah, I, it's, it's really fun, um, the ways in which we're all still connected. I just talked to Joel recently, a couple of weeks back about the Twilight Zone. And, you know, my wife and I just started watching Community and he was kind of taking me through the whole journey of the show <laughs> because it's like, you know, just from where it started, like it's a small budget thing. Then he was telling me about like the Parks and Rec rivalry too. Like there was a lot going on with that show that like now you can reflect and be like, man, that was a, that was a trip. Oh, well, also it was my first television show. So I didn't realize that it wasn't normal. Like I was like, <laughs> was there, you know, now looking back, I see just how like dramatic it was day in and day out. But at the time I didn't have anything to compare it to. Yes. So um, it was a wild ride. What were the best parts of the experience for you when you reflect on it now? Oh, I mean, the first thing that comes to mind is the incredible cast, you know, and a lot of us, it was one of our first television jobs. So um, it, it was the process of discovering who these people were and just how incredibly talented they all were. And it was, I can't describe the experience of, you know, sitting around the study room table, shooting the pilot 
and just watching person after person just blow my mind with their talent and their versatility. And um, so that was amazing. And then also just the good fortune of being on a television show, which was kind of rewriting what a, what a TV network sitcom could be.